guys, we're here today in our girly boudoir with our friend Anna from Viviana Does Makeup and we are going to talk about her favourite makeup products this season and we're pretty excited, aren't we? Very. Shall we? Yeah, just, just a few things. things. Are you comfy there on your bean bag? I'm comfy, I just wish that I'd known the dress code. Gym comfy jams. Comfy gym jams. Next time I'll be in my onesie. I know, so okay. good. So <laughs> where <laughs> shall we start? I, know I don't been, know it all. You've been so eyeing up a few this things. This has been exciting me. Estee Lauder's new powder gelée. It's in the shade Tease and it's a gorgeous oh. pink highlighter. I know you want to do it. That is nice. You love a bit of shimmer, that'll look fantastic. It's like a giant... Over the cheekbones. Oh, look at the little... Get off. <laughs> oh wow! I don't know that that would be very great for highlighting though. This little no, I think sponge. you need more of a like duo fiber yeah, brush. It's, it's brush. quite a heavy highlight, Touch but it. I just think that'll look amazing this season. I like Estee Lauder makeup. Actually, yeah, at the these gelées they do are very nice, very shimmery, kind of Ooh. a creamy. Yeah, are like there a lot look of to them. They come out with limited edition ones each season, and this is their one for spring, spring summer. Oh, see, so. I didn't know that. Yes. And now I need to go there buy you go. one. Know what we're doing later on? Yep, shopping. Another cheek thing, which I thought you two would like, is this. I do oh, like that. Illa Masca's new blush duo. Yeah. I think it's Lover and Hussy. Yes. I love Lover. Got Me it on too. my cheeks today. And also their new brush. Can you use that? Because I found it quite difficult. I don't know. I've got quite chip monkey cheeks. <laughs> so it actually worked quite well. I haven't given the pink one a go, but... Mm. Should we show how the new brush works? I tried it and I did it really badly. Okay, I know it was very like on. a line. Yeah, you have to yeah. put it under your cheekbones. The cheek idea bones. is because it's uh, a new shape and it's quite short bristles, it's quite structured, but you put it on under your cheekbones and instead of yeah. going like that, you go like up. You push it upwards. Like that, yeah. don't you? Yeah. yeah. Try a little should bit. I try a bit? Yeah. Which colour should I go for? Should I reckon I the pinky one. Yeah, the pink one for you. Ooh. And they're so pigmented, aren't they? Lamasca ones. So pigmented. Ooh. This is what I did. <laughs> <laughs> I really like this and I really like the pigments of Lamasca. So Strong. I do. <laughs> strong. So strong. strong. So strong. There's actually more blush. There's just a lot of blush. I've You're a blush today. gal, aren't you? I like a bit of blush, and I bought this one because I think you've got I've it. I've got it too. You've got it as well. Mm -hmm. You've both got this. This is Gerbera, and it's I their have still that a one. convertible well, colour. We bought them together, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Yeah. From Boots. They love are these. lovely. What do you use to apply these? Because I always get stuck with cream blush. I use the Real Techniques multitasking brush. Mm. Hmm. Have you kept your cream blush so clean? I might have given it a little bit of tidy before I came. <laughs> I was going to say, my cream blushes look awful. Do you want to see a bit more of a dewy This will be cheek. nice for spring, summer, won't it? Yes. Especially if you've just got just a bit of mascara and like a bit of lip gloss and just that would look really pretty. Healthy glow. Yeah, I like it on the lips as well. Ooh, this shade looks really lips. nice on the lips because they're so creamy. They yeah. work really well as a bit of lip colour as well. <laughs> So one less thing to put in your handbag. Exactly. <laughs> There's another cream one. You were talking about this one, Louise. Oh, yes. I have the a pink one The flush. Revlon Photo Ready in Coral Reef. Have I you didn't tried know the these shade? Were out. The pink one is so nice. Oh, that's nice too. Wow. They're more of a cream to powder. Yeah. Finish, yeah, they I definitely think. weren't powdery. And I like feel. that they look I know, I don't I've already got Oh. <laughs> I like that they look really like, whoa, in the packaging, but then when you put it on, it's really sheer and you can like blend yeah, it. Yeah, so these well, are these are good for cream blush newbies. I think, mm, if you're a bit of yeah. a newbie to cream blush. Which is strange because they look so much. There's one more cream product. To me, this looks a bit like a roll-on deodorant. Yeah. But <laughs> it looks like that ice cream you get that's got all the different... Um, the Neapolitan. Neapolitan. Yeah. <laughs> it does. It's Benefit Fine 1-1, one one, and it's a highlight blush and kind of a contoury, peachy colour mm. all in one. How do you apply and that? Do you just you're supposed to stripe, yeah, stripe on with highlighter on the top. And then Ooh. just blend out. My hand is very uneven for this. Do you want to do mine? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna do the same thing. Here, look. Mm. That's it. Well, and then you like just blend it. Just blend it in. When it's all blended in, it's very similar to Benefit Coralista. Oh, really? That's yeah. my favourite blush ever. There you go. It's basically that in cream formula. Certainly innovative. There's a new foundation on the market, which I'm liking a lot at the moment, and it's the Revlon Nearly Naked. There Revlon are coming out with some corkers at the moment, aren't they? Coming out with some really nice products, and it's nice to see a drugstore brand come out with a lighter coverage foundation. Yes. This oh, is, is this almost light coverage? light coverage, almost tinted moisturiser. Mm. And they do the powders to go with as well, don't they? They do the powders to go with. This is available in, I think, about 10 shades. What I did notice about this, it doesn't go up to very dark. It doesn't, or very light. 
It's oh, definitely so it's like more neutral, it's in the middle of the road. Middle also, of I don't the road. like ones without pumps. I find them Neither, very difficult. Yeah. They are a pain to use, but if mm. you can get past the yeah. tricky application process, it's a really nice, quite dewy, but not too greasy, light coverage like everyday foundation. Another sort of low coverage everyday foundation is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser. Do either of you two use this? If you I'm a bit scared a of tinted little. moisturizers because I feel like my skin's not nice enough to just wear a tinted moisturizer. Your skin is lovely. No, it's really not. <laughs> Up close, it's really not very nice. I'm one of these people that's like, oh no, I've got a blemish, so I'll put loads oh. of concealer on it, then I'll put a really high coverage foundation on, then oh. I'm good to go. <laughs> You've got this, Zoe, oh, haven't I do. you? Have you got it, Louise? No, it's one I of don't. my favourite palettes, but I just don't use it enough. Actually, it's the Nars Pleasures of Paris palette, and it is just. It's amazing. So, so pretty. You can mix all oh, those colours. So, you really can do like easy daytime and yeah. middle of the road and nighttime looks with just those six colours. Yeah. Nars eyeshadows are definitely my favourite, I think. Out of yeah, all you've the got quite a few of the duos, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I really, really like them. You like what's it called? It's, it's old. old. It's That's old. what I'm wearing it's today. Old. Yeah. It's old. Yeah, it's it's old. old. yeah I thought yeah. it looked really nice. Got actually. It on. Have you tried this, the Kevin Aquan sculpting powder? No. It is the most foolproof contour thing ever. It's, it's such a colour that I would never normally think to contour it's got a, with. Like, yeah. Yeah. It's very grey, there's no red undertones in it at all. It doesn't ever look orange or too warm on the skin. It just creates a really nice Ooh, natural shadow. Yeah. Oh, Anna, you're not good for my bank. Sorry! <laughs> <laughs> Get out! Shopping trip after this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go shopping. Just <laughs> quite a nice little face you, the you fish pull face. there. Do you do the fish face when you do contour? I just keep thinking, gosh, what a lot of blusher I've got on. <laughs> <laughs> I think it looks fine. I hope so. <laughs> I like that. Is it expensive, this one? I think it's around 30-ish pounds. So, so probably, definitely a luxury item. I have got something here which is pretty cheap. A nice little purse-friendly purchase. And I think there's a Zoe and Louise colour. Is there a pink and an orange? Oh, there is a pink <laughs> and an orange. How did you guess? How did you guess? <laughs> They're the Sleek True Colour Lipsticks. This is the shade she... No, oh. Loved Up. Oh, that's the Louise shade. Which I thought was the Louise Thank shade. You. Have you photographed these? Yes, I have. <laughs> I don't know you have to ask that every time. <laughs> that's the blogger in us coming it up. It is. This is Tangerine <gasps> Scream. Oh. Look at these, these couldn't be more Zoe and Louise, could they? I saw them. Oh. I just thought I have to bring those They're along. They're so pigmented. So pigmented. Are these new or have they been out a while? They're new. Oh, look at it. And they're creamy as well. Very creamy. Really long lasting and just the most gorgeous shades. Definitely. That's very similar to MAC Orange. Orange. And this one's similar to MAC Girl About Town. It is. There's <laughs> one final thing which I actually noticed that Zoe has on her nails today. The Illamasqua Speckle nail these. polishes, which I just love. They're supposed to look like thank you speckled eggs, eggs and like freckles for your fingertips. Did you know that the glitter in this is actually matte glitter, which is what makes it like more like a natural thing? Because isn't it like all based on nature and like the yeah, it gives a really nature. nice texture to it. I think it's quite unusual. I've not actually tried. I've got one. And I haven't tried it. yet. But also, it doesn't feel bumpy. That's oh. Stroke my nails. <laughs> Do you find it lasts really well? It does, but I've uh, chipped mine today. <laughs> Just the tips, but yeah, it has lasted. I've had it on for like four or five days. Yeah, I have mine on That's for about really five good. days yeah. for my yeah. chips. I really like this neutral one, Freckle, and the yeah. names are so cute. I also yeah, think... Freckle and Speckle. Yeah. Freckle and Speckle. <laughs> I also think these would look quite cute on toenails. Yeah, and they're a bit of a mini egg type look, I <gasps> yes, think. Very Easter. Easter. I've seen people do the ombre effect with the nails, so like start off with blue and move down into green. What, in these? Yeah, with the speckled oh, nails. So yeah. many creative nail people. God, that oh. would take me like a whole evening. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. And, then it's, and then you're like, oh, it's chipped, it's gone. It's a work of art. I know. So I think that is everything, some fabulous bits for spring. Yes, <laughs> thank you so much for coming in and bringing your things. No worries. We're all going to go shopping now because I want to buy a lot of this. Me so. too. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe below for more videos and we will see you very soon. Bye. Bye. Okay, so... How did you get on? Let's see. I will get started. Oh, went into Primark. But I went into Primark and I could not find the jeans because I wanted blue jeans. They were at the back. <sighs> I wish I'd Just got some plain back. black skinnies. These Can't feel go nice, wrong with actually. plain black skinnies. I need some plain black skinnies. Nine pounds. Bargain. 